In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust your PDF patterns for Ditto. Say you have a PDF pattern that is in A4 or letter format, meaning you need to print it out and tape it together. Obviously, for projection, we need the pattern to be all together in one format. There is a really great way to do that. It's called PDF Stitcher. You can find it at pdfstitcher.org. This is an open source software created by Charlotte Curtis. You can find out more about it on the homepage here. It also includes lots of tutorials and other information. There are two ways to download it. You can download it for Windows or for Mac. I'm going to start by showing you the Windows version. So you'll click Windows and you want to add it to your applications. Click Save and click that download to activate it. You will get this message that it, Windows wants to protect your PC. Instead of clicking Don't Run, you want to click More Information. That way this button will appear that says Run Anyway. And that's it. PDF Stitcher is ready to use on your computer. Now I'm going to show you how to download it for a Mac. To download PDF Stitcher to a Mac, you're going to choose whichever is best for your machine. Once downloaded, click on the file and drag the application to the Applications folder. Once in the Applications folder, find PDF Stitcher. If you get this message that it cannot be opened because of malicious software, to get around that, click System Settings, Privacy and Security, and scroll down until you find PDF Stitcher was blocked for use, and click Open Anyway. You'll then enter your computer password and modify the settings. Once modified, you should be able to open PDF Stitcher. Okay, now that we have PDF Stitcher downloaded to our computer, I'm going to show you some of the features that are super helpful when adjusting your PDFs for Ditto. I am going to bring up a pattern that is an A4 letter format that I normally would have had to print and tape out. And for reference, this is what this pattern currently looks like. Okay, so once I select it as my input source, I'm also going to choose an output. This is where you want that PDF to be saved once it's put together. I've made a separate folder called Stitch PDFs to save my updated PDFs. Okay, let's talk page range. PDF Stitcher may automatically populate how many pages are in that file that you put an input. If the file doesn't have any pages other than the pattern pages, you can leave it as is. I'll show you an example. For reference, this is the file that I just uploaded. It starts with that first pattern page here. If your pattern has the instructions ahead of the pattern pages that you need to tile together, you're going to delete those pages. So if that's the case, you may start at four or six, wherever the pattern actually starts. Like I said before, on this pattern, it's just the pattern pages that I'm tiling. Nothing else is in the file, so I can leave it at the range that is here. If you're someone who has used a projector for patterning before, you know that sometimes margins are added. However, for Ditto, you do not need to add any margins to your patterns. You can leave that at zero. If your pattern has layers, you want to make sure this is checked so that we can adjust the layers. 
and we're going to tile the pages, which is this. If you're putting together two AO files or anything like that, you would also tile these pages. Next, we're going to go into the Tile Pages tab. Here, you can enter the columns or the rows to set how many pages across or down your PDF is going to go. The best way to figure that out is to reference the instructions of your pattern. On this pattern, it goes four across. You do not need to enter the rows if you've entered the columns and vice versa. Make sure the page order matches what is on the diagram of your pattern. If you need to rotate any pages, you can do that here. If your pattern includes any trim or overlap, this is where you're gonna enter that information. The pattern I'm currently working on does not have anything on the sides, so I don't need to adjust any of these settings. I will go over that in the next step. Next, let's talk about the Layers tab. If your PDF includes layers, you'll be able to do some adjustments to those layers, like remove them or adjust line thickness and color. As an example, I'm going to leave all of these on to show you how this generates first. So once you're ready to make your PDF, you hit Generate PDF. Nothing will pop up. You're going to want to go into your folder wherever you were keeping those new patterns. And you can see here, this is now this tiled pattern is all ready to go. This is how it started. And this is what we have now. So this file is ready to go to my ditto. However, there are some adjustments we can make to make it a little clearer and easier to see. So I'm going to go back to PDF Stitcher. I'm going to make a different name. Great, I'm going to leave the, all of these settings the same. Same with the tile pages. And in layers, I'm gonna show you some things that will make it helpful when projecting with your ditto. First things first, if your patterns have any colors in them, like you saw, that was a very colorful PDF, you may want to change all of this to black. So I'm going to turn off anything that isn't the pattern. And this line color is already selected, but if I click on it, I can choose another color. Black does work best for ditto, so I'm gonna leave it at black, and I'm going to apply to all checked. So now this will change all of these PDF lines to black and four point. Four to 4.5 is a really great thickness for ditto. If you want to change one individually, you can click it. Say you wanna make this one blue, and you can apply just to that one and it has changed this one. You can do the same thing if you want to change the thickness and see it has changed here. Now that I've changed all of these to black, I can turn these page markers back on and generate that PDF. As you can see here, now my PDF, all those lines are in black and will be much easier to read when projecting with my ditto. Another step you can take for projecting your PDFs with ditto even easier is to remove the sizes that you don't need to project. So to start, you do want to change this to another name, go back to layers, and deselect the sizes you will not be using. If you are between sizes, you can use two sizes for easy adjustments. Once you have everything that you want projected with your ditto, click Generate PDF.
As you can see, this pattern now only includes the sizes I need to cut and will be really easy to read with my ditto. Now I'm gonna show you what settings you need to adjust if your pattern has margins around the image. First, you wanna input the file, give it a name, If your pattern has layers, check this. If it doesn't have layers, this will be grayed out. Keep tiled pages checked. In tiled pages, you're going to add the columns or the rows. Page range was added in the options, so we don't need to worry about it right here. Next, we're going to use these optional parameters to remove this margin. We're gonna set this in overlap and we need to enter the amount that needs to be removed. If you're unsure how much that is, you can use Adobe to measure the margins. You could also print out one page and measure with a ruler. To measure in Adobe, bring up the file, click More Tools, and click the Measure option. When it's highlighted, you'll be able to use this measuring tool and click a point and raise until you see how much the margins are. Generally, they're going to be a half an inch, a quarter of an inch. So if you are between, go with the more general size. This one is going to be half an inch. Once I have that measurement, I can go back to PDF Stitcher and put in half an inch. If the pattern only has you overlapping on one side, then you would leave one of these blank. Now that I've marked my trim for each page, I can generate the PDF. And you can see here, now those margins have been removed and my pattern is ready to project. Sometimes you will run into a pattern that has a missing or blank page. If that's the case, we need to adjust our page range so that this piece here doesn't end up over here cutting off this pattern piece. So to do that, we're going to select the file, choose a place to save it, and in page range, we're going to put a zero where this page should be. So on this PDF, this page is page number eight. So I'm going to do one to seven, put in a zero and the nine. And that way it'll skip over this page, but leave a space. This pattern does have layers. So if I wanna make any adjustments to the lines, I can do so. I can remove these page markers if that is part of the pattern layer. It all depends on how the designer put it together. And these lines are pretty thick, so I'm going to adjust the size of these lines. Now that I'm happy with all the settings, I can generate the PDF. As you can see here, it has now put this all together. The lines are a little bit thinner. And this piece over here matches up perfectly with this blank space still here. The BYOP feature is in beta and is currently for monthly and annual subscribers. It does not turn on automatically, so you do need to add it to your account. So the first thing you wanna go is you want to go into my account, scroll down to preview features, and you'll notice it will say feature is off. So you're just gonna click edit, toggle it to on, and be sure to save. Okay, so once that feature is on, we can go to my pattern library, and as you can see, 
you still have the My Patterns and My Folders tab, but you have a third tab called My Uploads. Once you click here, you will see an option to upload a new PDF. As a note, we currently can fit five patterns in our PDF library. To do so, you are going to click on this Upload New PDF. You can give your PDF a name and choose the file. Once you add the file and the name, click Upload PDF. So here is this file here. It says In Progress. If you see a note about unable to process your PDF, just give it a moment to complete. Okay, so now you can see here, my completed PDF is in my pattern library and I can move on to the app to get it sent to my Ditto. On the Ditto app, tap My Patterns. Tap Upload Patterns and then the pattern you want to project. Yardage and instructions will not display on a PDF. Tap on the workspace. In the workspace, you will see a partial view of your PDF pattern if it is larger than the 24 by 36 projecting area. To view other areas of the PDF, press the red arrow to move around the pattern, then send to projector. On the right, you can preview what areas of the PDF you are viewing in the workspace. Project the first area of your PDF pattern. Once cut, tap the red arrow and then send to projector to move to another pattern piece or section of the PDF.